Peace and blessings is real. Uh, first and foremost, I want to take this time and give all praises, glory, and honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, for allowing this word to come out. I hope you sincere. Uh, brothers and sisters are truly edified uh, by tonight's word. And the name of tonight's word is going to be called A Man Doing Good Deeds is as the apple of the eye and repents for his sons and daughters. That's right. The name of tonight's word is going to be called A Man Doing Good Deeds is as the apple of the eye and repents for his sons and daughters, man. Yeah, man, tonight's word is going to be sobering, especially if you are an Israelite brother um, that have a family um, and, and you are an Israelite brother that has charity and love in your heart. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's very important that we never lose sight of that. You know, a man's good deeds, you know, the Lord is going to be looking at your deeds uh, and the the, the totality of your deeds okay when you leave this earth you know we all will have to sit in that judgment seat and the lord look at our uh, uh career of deeds career of spiritual deeds career of worldly deeds the whole totality of your deeds man and based off your deeds you know it's going to determine what direction the lord send you okay so um, the goal is to always be uh, occupied in doing good deeds. Be, always be occupied in um, dying. Be, be preoccupied with dying. Preoccupied, be preoccupied with fearing of the Lord. Be preoccupied with being obedient to the Lord and being preoccupied in doing good deeds. Okay. Um, I've never seen uh, a situation where a good deed don't always come back to be beneficial. OK, a good deed. Good deeds is what we should be based off our spiritual integrity. Our spiritual conduct calls for us to naturally do good deeds and we shouldn't have to uh, get a reward for what we do is part of who we are. So um, if a man is doing good deeds uh, that's considered the apple of the eye. And at the same time, being spiritually connected, being spiritually deep rooted, where you're able to be so in touch with being spiritual and on the, on fire for the Lord. You want to make sure that you can position yourself where you can repent for your own sons and daughters, man. Like you see on the screen, this is a man and wife with his children. When a man is doing good deeds, which is considered the apple of the eye, he's going to be able to repent for his son and daughter that you see on the screen. That means before they even really get 10 toes in this world doing sins and whatnot, he's already got them covered. Cold-blooded, man. Yeah, what's the name of the word? A man doing good deeds is as the apple of the eye and he repents. For his sons and daughters, man. We're going to come to you in the Apocrypha, uh, Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 17, verses 22 and 23. And in Sirach 17, verse 22, it reads, The arms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of man as the apple of the eye, and give repentance to his sons and daughters. You see that? So the alms of man, the charity of man, a man that's being inspired by compassion and desire to help the less fortunate, okay, is as a signet with him, as, as a seal of his authority, as his signature, okay? And he will keep the good deeds. He will keep the good actions. He will keep the good words. He'll keep the good thoughts, okay? As the apple of the eye, he would keep his actions, his words, his thoughts would be equivalent as someone you cherish above or more than all others. OK, his actions, his words, his thoughts is going to be equivalent as having deep 
love for someone, you see? And then it says, and give repentance. In other words, he's going to rearrange, uh, he's going to set his sons and daughters up to, a re to rearrange their entire way of thinking, feeling in their being in order to forsake that which is wrong, okay? In other words, the father is going to pre-reserve sincere regret and remorse for his children. You see, that's called blooded, man. And uh, Sirach chapter 17, verse 23, it reads, afterwards, he will rise up and reward them and render their recompense upon their heads, man. Listen, man, let me tell you something, man. We, like I said before, you know, let's, let's, let's deal with alms. Okay. Let's deal with charity. Okay. Let's deal with being inspired by compassion and desire to help the less fortunate. Let's, let's deal with that. In first Timothy uh, chapter one, verse five, it speaks about the end of the commandment is charity. Okay. Charity out of a pure heart and a good conscience. You see that? So that's, that's what we need to think about, meditate on, focus on when it comes to alms. Okay. Um, signet, the seal of authority, your signature. You know how people might say that's his signature, not like a literal signature, but that's his, that's his signature, meaning that's his work. Like you see somebody's work, you can tell like, okay, that I know that's, he, he put his stamp on that. You know, your signature is always going to be valid. It's going to follow you. Okay. It speaks about deeds. Okay. And in second address, 8 and 33, it tells you that the righteous lay up good deeds and are rewarded for them. You see that? Yeah, man. And when it comes to the apple of the eye, when it comes to uh, someone you cherish more than or above all others, when it comes to you having deep love for something, that's how we have to be when it comes to the Lord. The Lord has to be the apple of our eye. In other words, in Sirach 13 and 14, it tell you, love the Lord all thy life and call upon him for salvation. You see that? So it's like a puzzle, man. It all comes together spiritually. It all comes together, man. And it's and, and then we're talking about repentance. Okay? For those who don't truly understand what repentance is, repentance simply is rearranging the entire way of how you think, how you feel, and how you are. Okay? You rearranging that completely. In order to forsake that which you have done is considered wrong, which is considered sin. And in order for you to begin to even think that, you have to have sincere remorse and regret in your heart. You see? And if you do have that, we, what we know is repentance. Check out what it says in Sirach 20 and 3. It's, uh, it's great when you are reproved. It's great when you repent. Because when you repent, thou escape willful sin. So when the father repent for his sons and daughters, okay, he's setting them up where they can escape willful sin, man. Yeah. I mean, cold-blooded, man. I mean, again, what's the name of the word? A man doing good deeds is as the apple of the eye and repents for his sons and daughters, man. That's cold blooded, man. Yeah. I mean, family is, you know, having a wife is always top of the list. As, as a brother, first thing you want to do, man, as a God fearing server of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the first thing you want to do is honor uh, Genesis 2 and 24. You leave your mother and father, cling on to your wife. Once you have your wife, y'all multiply your family by way of having children. So a man's wife and children is going to be his precious jewels. That's going to be the apple of his eye outside of the Lord, man. And once you get that focus, once you get once you get that understanding, then you understand what, what it's all about when it comes to doing good deeds and looking at those deeds as the apple of the eye and then being able to repent 
for your sons and daughters, man. That's cold, man. I ain't got nothing else for you. I, I, I think, shoot, I, I think the word kind of speaks for itself, man. I think it, it, it speaks for itself. I hope you sincere uh, brothers and sisters are truly edified by this word. And we give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahushai. For allowing this word to come out, man, stay prayered up. Love on someone, man. Call someone you ain't talked to in a while and just tell them you love them, man. Somebody you done got into it with and both of y'all are too stubborn to pick up the phone or reach out to one another. End that today, man. End that. Pick up the phone or go on your social media platforms or what, whatever and just say, hey, cuz, I love you. Or, hey, bro or hey, sis, I love you. Because life is short, man, and we should be cherishing our loved ones as much as we can in these very last few days we got on this earth, man. I hope y'all were edified by this word, man. Once again, keep your Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, first in everything that you do, and stay prayered up at all times, man. Shalom.